Hey everyone, it's Liam Catterson here and we're watching Angel as we jump into episode 20 of season 2. Um, we got two more episodes left after this episode uh, and then we're done with season 2 of Angel and Buffy season 5, that's already been done. And no, I am still not okay for those. <laughs> Curious. Um... But yeah, speaking of that, whilst I was making my coffee uh, in preparation for Angel, uh, something clicked in my head. Angel, he's got to know regarding what happened to Buffy, especially with the close connection that him and Buffy shared. He has to have a right to know. I feel like it would be very, very... It, 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 I don't know. Part of me wouldn't sit right with the fact that Angel would be left in the dark. So um, I am prepared to be hurt once again uh, with the prospect of Angel finding out what happened. Um, I'm just thinking someone's got to have to tell him uh, since he's all the way out there in, in L.A. So, yeah, um, I'm not ready for that prospect to be fair. So I, I, I'm, I'm hurting myself um with that imagination but like i said it's it's something that i feel like um you just can't ignore so you can't just gloss over etc especially with his close connection to um buffy but um yeah last episode we got a bit of information regarding Lorne, because we've referred to him as uh, the host for the majority of season two, and we found out not just more about regarding what his real name is, um, but also how disgraced he is from his own people. He went in pursuit of something else, um, contrary to the traditions that his people are accustomed to. Um, and uh, yeah, we saw another one of his people um, um emerge and uh yeah there was just some very very interesting personalities especially regarding landok um uh, contrary to um to uh lawn who is a bag of fun anyways like he is really really amazing and i'm really glad that we got a, a lot more information of him in the last episode and um yeah cordy I think has been trapped on their home uh, after Landoc went back, um, accidentally taking Cordy with him. So, um, yeah, I feel like we're going to be in for a right struggle to try and get Cordy back. Um, so uh, I'm excited to see how we do uh, close off these next few episodes. So with that said, let's jump into episode number 20 of season two of Angel. Let's go. Oh, nice. But I think you need the ruby. Yeah. So, <laughs> silver lining. It's kind it's pretty. of a pretty place. When you look at it. Unprepared. You, know. you should go back to the hotel, do some research. I don't want to research. All right, I want to jump to the big swirly hole thingy and save Cordelia. Quickly and so We might never be able to get back. It's Cordy. Oh. He's fighting for Cordy. It's brilliant. I'm not supposed to die like this. No. Oh. oh, thank God. And also, Wait, what? Ew. Come here, At least it's not evil. You found me a cow. Hey. What? Calling cow, Mister. Yeah, that's rude, buddy. <laughs> um. Uh, oh. Unless you're like cow. good cow, <laughs> sure, extra pretty price at the market. Light whoosh through the portal, bang! I'm in another dimension. This dimension, I mean, it could have led you to the pits of hell. But... Never, never, never leave. But then, who opened the portal? Gift horse, mouth. <laughs> Unfull and and painful. And right, and I was the only one who could hear it. Imagine hearing music for the first time. Beautiful. For the first time, don't kid yourselves. Cordy's in a very bad place. It's cold. But she's not uh, in the bad no, place. No, no. Deplete the hotspot of its psychic energy. And since we already opened one, the hotspot is cold. That's why you couldn't open the second portal. See, I was right. It was the batteries. <laughs> The same probably applies to the one in the library. What? Last night I lost one of my crew. Here we go. I should have been there, but... 
I'm sorry, but Wes said the trip was one way, and I, I, I can't. Is that Paul uh, between that makes Angel me... Investigations or his people? I don't know what it makes me. You and I have to figure out how to save her. It really does break your heart because there's this split and you can understand reasons, but you want Cordy back as well. One pig, one measly pig. My father has been a huge... Yeah, Cordy's worth a lot more. I am an American and I have rights. And right now, I'd like to get right back to... Ah, that hurt! Cows aren't for talking, they're for doing their jobs if they know what's good for them. Wow! Imiaka! Woo! I'd rather invite a hive of wasps to nest in my throat. I'd oh, rather stick to a junior high school production of Cats. You see where I'm going with this? Not I'd rather see the 2019 exactly. version of Cats well, as well. It's too bad then. Now they'll never rescue the girl. Come again? I can find your hot spot, Lauren. But in one condition. You've got to go with them. It's the only way you'll ever the help. resolve all is taken simply because it must be taken. Is that big enough for you? <laughs> is that what I sound like? <laughs> no wonder people complain. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Like he's got contacts. I suppose and I could try a binding spell. They're like, of some oh kind. lord, hi. Choose. This is my associate, Mr. Hayes. We represent Wolfram. Already bored. What? We've come to appraise the hotel. Or yeah, no thanks. No. Correct me if I'm wrong, but your lease expires in six months, and Wolfram and Hart is interested in purchasing this building. <laughs> you gotta be kidding. No. Nope. Boo. Yes. Go away. Are you a human? Keep, keep shoveling. Go shovel. Where'd you come from? Ivyaka. Ivyaka. How long have you been here? I was born here. I, I mean, not really. I just sometimes I think I was. I, I mean, I, I don't think it was my thought. Forget certain words. How do oh, you man. Hold on, what are you This place is really is broken up. Kalia. Wait, you keep shoveling, jeez. Remember, little cow. You should have stayed in the woods. <laughs> wait, wait. Face down. You know what? Lorne has his reasons. But screw you guys. For hours now. <sighs> I think I covered everything. Oh. A mortgage for the hotel. It's under the company name. Lease is up in six months. Lease is what they tell me, so... Uh, I guess that's it. Take care of yourself. Isn't anyone gonna ask if I'm okay? Curse! My cow is cursed! No, wait, you wait, just... Wait, it's not a curse. You know, compliments it's or you. gratitude. She's giving you these warnings. You know, having a bit of gratitude. Here. Stop here. Does it hurt? 96%. Those odds still look good, well, right? It's not like I've ever done this before. With the time factor, I'm under a great deal of oh, depression. Suck it up, English. <laughs> hey, gun! Gun. Why did you. Got a phone message. Sounded like the captain of the Titanic getting ready to go down with the. Say goodbye. Once more into the breach. Back to the future vibes, I don't know why. Hey! Stop the daylight, quick, someone have your blanket, have your blanket, I'm gonna cut right, right. I made it then, this is your world. Ah oh, yes, home sweet hell. I'm not on fire. And we're together. <laughs> Oh, I mean, oh! Merge into a freakish four-man Siamese twin. That was a risk. <laughs> how come nobody told me that was a risk? Can everybody just notice how much fire I'm not on? Uh, uh, this is wholesome. Oh, hey, look. There's some over in that patch of sun. I'll get them. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just embrace this amount of wholesomeness? Hey, I'll give it to you. Trip into an alternate universe, pretty damn cool. But I want to find Cordy quick. Me too. No, this is really, really well, I mean, I mean, for like, her sake, of course. Supernatural, funnily enough, on this Pilea. kind of show. Never mention him again, please. No, 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 no. 
<laughs> Screw <laughs> these people. You ready? Yeah. I think we're only a couple miles from town, but we'll have to walk it. Oh, no problem here, walking in the sun. Hey, do it all the time. Yes, we're all heartily aware that you're not on fire. <laughs> <Here> you <go. laughs> it's his birthday. Let, let me. She carries the curse of the site. What the frick did you do to her? Like. We will be having words. Because you don't hurt Cordy. Come on, guys. You had to say it. And they're my friends. Cows are not friends. They are creatures of labor, beasts of burden. No more. I mean, that's a pretty no, no, rude reception to cows in general, but okay. Clan, but it is clear that you have abandoned the teachings of your people. To be fair, you guys have demonstrated how much Take you suck. Away. We will begin interrogations immediately. Wait, keep us away. They're people, not things. You're trash. Time has arrived, my brethren. She is indeed cursed with the sight. Measures must be taken. Blood must be spilled. Yours? Good. Okay. Good deal. A curse. Something about testing the girl for sight. I said she screamed. Those bastards. Exactly, Wes. Exactly. They're about to take us to a castle. We're going to be sentenced. Oh boy. Rev Longsloth of the Death Block Clan, you and the cow trash are not to speak. Now debunch your panties, Narwak. You <laughs> are a traitor to your home. You and your life rude. Giver, betrayed your people, and now you can sort with these animals. Hi, guys. Wait, what? Wait, did they just... Did, did, wait, wait, wait. Did they just anoint Cordy as queen? You know the Queen C thing on her bumper? On, on, on... Yeah. It's full circle. Wait. So... I just, because these guys had such a um, torrid, like, reception with the way they were, they were treating um, Cordy and there seemed to be that, dis like, that superiority, uh, we are better than you. Um, and they were testing her, like, were they test, like, I'm guessing they tested her, um... And her having the sight, you know, means, okay, she can be leader. Just we'll have some kind of draconic testing going on because, yeah. Okay. 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 So, yeah, good stuff continuing the Pylia, um arc that we are seemingly going um, for in these next few episodes. Um, of course, we had the set, uh, we set things up in the last episode, and now we are at Pylia, um, and uh, it seems coming into the next episode, we've got um, Queen Cordy, or, um, well, I, I'd assume it, uh, like, I'm just reflecting back to the little... Um, uh, the the plate on on her car like it was Queen C wasn't it, um and now here we are right now she has power uh, and it should be very very interesting to see what does happen for these next uh, bunch of episodes, um how they're going uh, how they have to go back etc. Um, but for now things might seem to be on the up for not just uh, Cordy but also uh, Angel and Co because well. 
assume well the ending kind of gave indication that she wasn't this but assuming that cordy hasn't been brainwashed i think these guys will be fine so yeah i mean it still doesn't mean okay well uh the the the, the demons there are all all well and good because there's still that xenophobic um push that they have against people who are not like them uh but it is very interesting to have them um like they 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 set us up uh with the whole uh poor treatment of cordy and and thinking that um okay well they're going to be even harsher than i guess they usually are because of the fact that she's afflicted with the curse but it's um a a benefit for them like she can uh, help them out, make them prosper. Um, in terms of being able to 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 be stronger, because she has this um, uh, she has this ability to see into the future, thus adding a layer of protection to Pylea. So, um, this comes as great benefit for her and uh, for them, should I say? And um, they are able to utilize that, put her in a position of power, and here we are. So, um. Yeah, but it was it was it was great to have us uh, tricked, I guess, in a sense, um, to have them think, okay, well, uh, she is evil, etc. But in the end, they appointed her uh, seemingly as queen. So, yeah, um, it was really really good to to focus on um, not just Cordy as she, you know battled for survival in Pylea and we got to see Fred um a couple of times and uh we'll talk more about that in a moment but um uh it was also great to see why Lorne wasn't really a big fan of Pylea and um you could see the um animated personality that he carries contrasts heavily to the environment of Pylea like even um Fred said about the fact that she hasn't laughed for the first time and yet it's really disheartening and the um yeah like I said it's it's lacking that animation um that Lorne does carry so um yeah I'm really 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 excited to see where like things progress with Pylea because in a sense, I do hope Cordy improves them. They could have a bit of a, a you know, personality improvement, kindness doesn't kill, etc. Um, so hopefully she'll be able to, to implement that. Uh, there'll be some people who are thinking, okay, this is making us weak, etc. But, you know, you want people to prosper. You want people to improve. And uh, maybe, maybe Cordy can do that. So... Yeah, um, I loved Angel getting so, so jubilant with the fact that he was able to walk in the daylight at Pylea and um, he was unaffected by what, uh, by by the um, suns. Uh, it, it wasn't working, like the, the way um, that his curse operates is not applicable to Pylea. It, it's completely different. And I'm really in, uh, intrigued to see more of that potentially develop um so yeah it's it's a completely i don't know it's 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 a surreal experience um because he's not doing anything in order to uh, avert the um uh to avert the curse he, he he hasn't got any kind of ring on him uh the prophecy hasn't been fulfilled he's he just happens to ride through into a portal and then there we go so um yeah um it was it was really really wholesome seeing angel get giddy about the fact that he was able to do this um it was it, it just melted my heart uh, i will say when he was on the phone uh, about to leave for pilea i thought he was going to leave a message for buffy or something like that um especially following the season five finale um i mean it makes sense that he did set up that message for Gunn because that gave Gunn uh, some kind of leeway, uh, leeway um, to um, joining up with them and heading to Pylea. Um, and I'll talk about that more in a bit. But um, it was like, I don't know. I feel like they should have had Angel contact Buffy um, because it would have added to the heartache because she would never get that message anyway. So... Yeah, because I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know what's wrong with me. It's like I'm asking for pain at this moment. So, 
Like, just hurt me. Just please. I mean, after watching the finale of season five, uh, after uh, editing um, the body, I'm just numb. I'm I'm a sh- like you can hurt me now. So <laughs> no, but um, I feel I don't know. I feel like you could have had that moment where he uh, contacts Buffy, but yeah, but it makes sense to why he would call Gunn because Gunn had made his decision regarding um, sticking with his people rather than helping Angel Investigations out. But like I said, it makes sense because of the fact that Gunn has felt like that um, he has that responsibility to be there for, for his people. He felt like he's already failed them once and he doesn't want to do that again. But that guilt's going to amplify with the fact that he could be abandoning Angel Investigations. Um, he's like, this is it. Um, he now has a choice to to be there for Angel Investigations or to like or or not to be. And uh, there would be so much guilt on him if anything were to happen to um, like he would never see a- Angel Wesley etc ever again. Um, and he could have been detrimental that there is that weight building up um, to the already recent um, pain that he's suffering with the fact that he felt like he let his friend down because he wasn't there for him. So I really like the idea that Gunn did have a have a, a change of faith because um, that way he doesn't have to blame himself again if anything drastic were to happen to angel and co so i really liked that bravery that gun did present um so yeah um but yeah it was good to see a bit more lawn about um how there was that um hesitation of returning to pilea um like it's very very it was a very interesting um, world to discover, but it was also very interesting to to pick up on Lorne's words and see how that was applicable. Fred, for example, she couldn't laugh for the first time in five years, and you could really tell how her time on Pylea has damaged her um, because she's been away for years, hasn't she? So, yeah, but uh, I think Amy Acker's acting and her language utilised um, gave a good demonstration about how this place can really, really affect people. And like I said, someone as animated as Lorne, um, it, it does, it, it does hurt like being stripped from music, being stripped from laughter. It, it's a very, very, uh, I don't know, macabre world. Um, especially with how people treat other, um, races, anyone, who wasn't like them uh, gets tre- like slaves. It seems like uh, the, they they saw uh, they saw Cordy. They called her a cow. Um, they tre- any anyone a uh, human vampire, I guess, with Angel as slaves. So it was a very very macabre um, environment. But it was very interesting to see to 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 pick up on Lorne's words and and see how applicable that was. So. And I really liked him visiting his friend. And and I feel like him with Aggie, um, yeah, what's she called? It really does give you a good example about his um, comments regarding uh, how hesitant he is to return home. Uh, he's got people to, that he is good friends with, like Aggie, and it shows the comfort of Earth. So, yeah, I really, really liked um, that bit. But, um, yeah, it was really good to explore further about his skepticism returning to Pylea. Um, and um, not just that, though, but I'm really hoping this is not setting things up for him to, to remain stuck there, especially with some of the conversations that took place, especially between him and Aggie. So fingers crossed, this isn't like setting things up for Lorn to be like, I'm sticking by. So, um, yeah, and uh, I mean, if if it helps his people, I don't know if I would have any co- because you know it, it it means that he's doing good. But I do like Lawn. I do want to see a lot more of him. So yeah, um, but yeah, this was really good. I, there was also a showcase of Wesley feeling like he failed as a leader at the very beginning, uh, saying, "How could I let this happen?" Uh, beating himself up regarding the fact that um. 
regarding the fact that he felt responsible for Cordy uh, disappearing. So, yeah, uh, I loved uh, going um, like into certain characters, um, uh, their like their thought process with Gun, uh, and you know, there's that choice now he has to make. He can um, he can beat himself up even further. Um, with the already existing guilt of letting his friend down with uh, angel investigations, or you know he can um, fight with them, uh, with Wesley with his leadership abilities. Yeah, it was really really good going into this episode. I'm really excited to see uh, what does happen next time now with Cordy in charge. Yes, um, but yeah, I will see you guys next time. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. You check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content. You can also subscribe to my league feeds and channel if you want to. Hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. Hope you guys take care, and I will see you guys next time. Doodles.